Hi everyone, I'm Dale and I'm from the Jib Training Team. Today we're going to be having a look at the key aspects of putting plasterboard onto the wall. It's really important before we start putting plasterboard on the wall to make sure that the floor is nice and clean. We don't want any rubbish in behind the bottom of the board when we're putting it up. We're also going to use a couple of packers, somewhere between 5 and 10 millimetres, just to keep the bottom of the board up off the concrete and away from any moisture. Now we're going to look at putting some board on the wall. On this job we've decided to run the board horizontal. A couple of good reasons for that. One is it reduces the amount of stopping required and secondly it reduces any effects of critical light coming through the window. A consideration though is if you've got any critical light coming down from above you may choose to run your sheets vertically. A couple of other things to note with horizontal fixing is no additional support is required behind the joint here. When we put our top sheet on and we plaster that with some paper tape, it'll be strong enough to support across the studs. We also want to see our cuts around windows and doors and against other sheets nice and tight and neat. Okay, we're about to put our sheet of plasterboard up and before we do that, we're just going to install some of the adhesive. In this case, we've used Jib Fix 1 and to make it easier, we've taken a sipper bottle lid, we've punched the valve out and that goes on the end. That's going to give us approximately the right size dob of glue. Keeping 200 millimetres away from any other screw, so I'm coming up 200 millimetres, a couple of dobs. So we've carefully measured and cut the plasterboard. I've lifted it in around the window and now I'm going to screw it off into place. I'm using collated screw guns and a couple of things we need to watch for. We need to be 18 millimetres in from any cut edge, 12 millimetres in from any tapered edge and 50 millimetres in from the corner. Okay, we've put our screw in, it just wants to be below the surface of the paper. We don't want to see any gypsum core showing. And if it is a little bit proud on the surface, just get a screwdriver and tweak it in a little bit. Keep the stoppers happy. One of the other things we've chosen to do on this job is use architraves around the windows and doors. The big benefit of that is it allows us to put full length sheets throughout the wall and cut them neatly around the window. Had we chosen to have a join above the window, it would have to be 200 millimetres minimum from the edge or the corner. Now that we've got our sheet up on the wall and we've glued throughout the centre to minimise the amount of fasteners that we've got, it's an option to take a small block like this and screw it over the top, holding the plasterboard back until the glue's cured. For any further information on what we've discussed here today, grab yourself a copy of the Jib Site Guide. Or, if you'd like to talk to us, give us a call on the Jib Helpline.